today was a lucky find. I decided to take the compost out, even though it wasn't due, and I'm lucky I did, because I found this little girl, Lucky Star, wedged behind the compost bin. And she looks like she sustained some injuries. I needed to determine whether or not it was an attack from a predator, whether she had gotten pinned behind something. It's hard to tell sometimes. So first thing I did was very gently see if there's any blood loss, anything looks out of the ordinary. And I noticed pretty quickly that she was covered in poop back here. So I did cut her tail feathers carefully to see if I could see any injuries. And after I cut the tail feathers, everything looks pretty normal. Her vent is clean. She has a clean bottom. There are no injury wounds. There's no open wounds. But I can tell, obviously, and surely you can too, that something is wrong with her leg. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to gently bend one leg at a time and see how she reacts. So when I cup this foot, I can feel that she's pulling her claws around my finger. She has strength there and it, she seems to be moving it just fine. So very gently, I'm going to try to cut my hands around this foot and it feels very different. It definitely feels like she's not having any pushback at all. I also noticed that the angle of this leg is a little suspicious and it seems far too up on her chest. It should be back here. So I'm going to very gently set her down and see if she can bear weight on that leg at all. She can bear some weight. I'll try to turn her so maybe you can see that. Kitty is very interested right now. What's going on? And I'm noticing when she does apply some weight, she is also bending her toes. So this is a good sign. So I wanted to make this video because it is a little upsetting to see a chicken hurt, but I myself turn to YouTube quite a bit whenever I have an injured bird to decide whether it's best to dispatch that bird for the sake of it being a humane treatment to that animal or determine if there's a lot of life left in this creature and to give her my best. And a little anecdotal story, we've had many birds over the years and some birds have sustained pretty severe injuries from predators uh, such as raccoons, foxes, you name it. And sometimes the injuries look very severe, but before you know it, after some tender loving care, hanging out inside for a little bit and having their wounds tended to, they end up bouncing back and they live long, happy lives. If she's able to eat and drink, then she has a really good chance that she's going to survive. So I have some water right here. And if I put it close to her, there we go. <laughs> she took a drink and she started moving. So this is a good sign that she's going to pull through. Let's see if she eats something. It's also a good sign. Oh, and she's eating. So next step, I will move her inside to a place where we will monitor her and keep track of her for the next 24 hours. She has been drinking. She's been pecking at the food and I also gave her a little treat there of some strawberries because nobody likes to be laid up in a tub when all your friends are outside having fun. morning it's about 5 a.m. and as soon as I put the lights on in the bathroom she was convinced it was morning and started pecking away at that food but she's not sitting exactly the same as a normal chicken would her wings are being used for balance right now and her legs are spread out underneath her she's able to take care of herself. She's able to move around to find food and water, and obviously she has a good appetite. Anytime there is an injured chicken, we do our best to become investigators and try to figure out what exactly happened. Here are some chickens in the morning checking out the score and the compost. The chickens do a great job picking through the compost. Now I found our little girl that was injured 
behind this bin wedged against the barn wall, underneath the siding. I heard something scuffling next to me and looked over and I just happened to see her wing pattern of her barred rock pattern and knew that was a chicken right away. So I'm very fortunate I did find her. When I did, chances are if I had not taken out the compost, then I would not have been able to find her. and She would have been passed away if I ever did find her at all. My guess is that a predator, potentially a fox, chased her and she sought shelter in this little crevice behind the compost bin and the bottom of the barn. As you can see, all of our birds are outside. This is just a small group of our flock and there's my dog taking a morning swim. And they're walking around the property looking for bugs. I really value our chickens for their tick control abilities. They walk the property and get rid of a lot of the ticks. They also walk around through our gardens. This is our blueberry patch here and they are a great line of defense against the insects. This lucky girl is looking like she was never injured, 100% better. Now that the sun is finally down, we are ready to take her outside and reintroduce her to her flock so that they can all wake up together. Lucky Star spent all last night in the coop with her friends and here it is very early in the morning, waking up hopefully before the chickens. So they can all get outside together before anybody notices her. That'll reduce the chance of her being bored. Good as new. She's going to be just fine. You're gonna have a long, healthy, happy life ahead of you. Just keep getting better and better at using that leg. So now it's been over a week since this barred rock sustained that injury. And here she is hanging out on the threshold in the dooryard of the coop with some of her friends. It's definitely hard to see with just my basic camera phone inside the coop, but they're, all the birds are kind of hanging out. It's kind of a hot day today, but you know, until she moves, it's really hard to see that she was even injured at all. I'm really thankful and pleased with her progress. I'm really thankful that we didn't give up on her. We gave her a chance to heal. She's going to be just fine. and She will live a long, happy life. And chances are that she'll continue to heal and this little limp that she has when she does walk, which is hardly noticeable, will continue to keep healing and going away. Yeah. Do you want to set her down and we can see how she's doing? The greatest benefit to having a bird inside with you is you do develop a close relationship with them. And so this little girl, our little lucky star, will continue to be probably one of our favorite birds in our family. She will continue to let us handle her no matter how long she's out with her flock now. Hey, Junie, can you set her down and see if she wants to take a walk? All right. And let's see how she's walking. Can you let her walk on her own? I want her. I want her. Look at that. So she hardly has a limp anymore. She did kind of skip a step there. I can see that she is still healing. It's the leg closest to me that was injured, that left leg. But all in all, she's doing very well. Yeah. Do you think we can call her Lucky Star? That's what that's the name I picked for her. I thought she was pretty lucky. Lucky Star. Lucky Star. All right. I'll let you go back with your friends, Lucky Star. So glad you get to join your flock. Thank you.